Ripple Mark Definition Ripple marks are sedimentary structures commonly found in environments where water or wind flows over loose sediment, such as riverbeds, beaches, or deserts. They are essentially small ridges or undulations on the surface of sedimentary layers, formed by the movement of fluid, water or air, and the subsequent deposition of sediment. These marks come in various shapes and sizes, typically ranging from a few millimeters to several centimeters in wavelength, depending on the velocity and characteristics of the flowing medium. There are two primary types of ripple marks, symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical ripple marks have a crest and trough of equal slopes and are commonly formed in environments with oscillatory flow, where water motion changes direction regularly, such as tidal flats or the shallow parts of lakes. Asymmetrical ripple marks, on the other hand, have a steeper slope on one side, the Sta side, and a gentler slope on the other side, the Lee side. They are typically formed by unidirectional flows, like currents in rivers or ocean currents. Ripple marks provide valuable clues about the ancient environments in which they formed. Geologists use them as indicators to interpret the past depositional environments, including the direction and intensity of ancient currents, the energy of the environment, and the nature of the sediments that were being deposited. For instance, symmetrical ripple marks suggest environments with fluctuating water currents, while asymmetrical ripple marks indicate consistent one-directional flow. Moreover, ripple marks are not only significant in understanding past geological processes but also have practical implications. For example, in the petroleum industry, the presence and characteristics of ripple marks in sedimentary rocks can provide information about reservoir properties, aiding in the exploration and extraction of oil and gas reserves. Additionally, understanding ripple marks can also be relevant in fields such as environmental science and civil engineering, where knowledge of sediment transport and deposition is essential for various applications, including land use planning and infrastructure development. How is ripple mark formed? Ripple marks form through the interaction of fluid flow and loose sediment. The process typically involves three main stages, initiation, development, and preservation. Initiation, ripple marks begin to form when a fluid, such as water or air, flows over a bed of loose sediment. The fluid exerts a shear stress on the sediment particles, causing them to move. Initially, this movement may be random and chaotic, as individual grains are displaced by the fluid motion. Development, as the fluid continues to flow over the sediment surface, patterns of movement start to emerge. Some sediment grains are lifted and transported downstream by the flow, while others are deposited. Over time, this selective transport leads to the development of small ridges or undulations on the sediment surface. The shape and orientation of these features depend on various factors, including the velocity and direction of the fluid flow, the size and shape of the sediment grains, and the characteristics of the fluid itself. In environments with oscillatory flow, such as tidal flats or shallow marine settings, symmetrical ripple marks may form. Here, the flow direction changes regularly, leading to the formation of alternating crests and troughs with symmetrical slopes. In settings with unidirectional flow, such as rivers or ocean currents, asymmetrical ripple marks are more common. The sediment grains are transported predominantly in one direction, resulting in ripple marks with steeper slopes on one side, the Sta side, and gentler slopes on the other side, the Lee side. Preservation Once formed, ripple marks may be preserved in sedimentary rocks through various processes. If the sediment surface becomes covered by additional layers of sediment before the ripple marks are erased by subsequent flows, they can become buried and lithified over time. Under the right conditions, such as compaction and cementation, these sedimentary layers can eventually become rock, preserving the ripple marks as distinct sedimentary structures. The size, shape, and orientation of ripple marks provide valuable information about the ancient environments in which they formed. Geologists analyze these features to interpret past depositional environments, reconstruct paleogeography, and understand the dynamics of ancient sedimentary systems. Properties of Ripple Mark 
Ripple marks exhibit several properties that provide valuable information about their formation, the environmental conditions in which they originated, and the subsequent processes that affected them. Some of the key properties of ripple marks include Size and shape Ripple marks vary in size and shape depending on factors such as the velocity and type of fluid flow, the size and density of sediment grains, and the duration of sediment transport. Symmetrical ripple marks typically have wavelengths, the distance between successive crests or troughs, ranging from a few millimeters to several centimeters, with gentle slopes on both sides. Asymmetrical ripple marks often have longer wavelengths and steeper slopes on the staw side, the side facing the flow, compared to the lee side, the sheltered side. Orientation Ripple marks exhibit a preferred orientation determined by the direction of the fluid flow that formed them. In environments with oscillatory flow, such as tidal flats, ripple marks may have various orientations due to changing flow directions. In contrast, in settings with unidirectional flow, such as river channels or ocean currents, ripple marks tend to align parallel to the direction of flow. Cross-bedding Ripple marks commonly contribute to the formation of cross-bedding, which is a sedimentary structure characterized by inclined layers of sediment within a larger sedimentary deposit. As sediment accumulates downstream of ripple marks, it forms inclined layers that dip in the direction of the flow. Cross-bedding is a valuable indicator of ancient sedimentary environments and can provide information about paleocurrent directions. Internal Structure Ripple marks often exhibit internal structures that reflect the processes involved in their formation. For example, symmetrical ripple marks may show evidence of bidirectional migration of the crest and trough due to alternating flow directions. Asymmetrical ripple marks may display four-set laminae on the staw side, formed by the deposition of sediment grains transported by the flow, and bottom-set laminae on the lee side, formed by the settling of finer particles in the quieter lee environment. Preservation potential. The preservation potential of ripple marks depends on various factors, including the sedimentation rate, the intensity and frequency of fluid flow, and the presence of biological activity. Ripple marks may be preserved as distinct features in sedimentary rocks if they are buried rapidly and protected from erosion or disturbance. Under favorable conditions, such as compaction and cementation, Ripple marks can become lithified and contribute to the overall sedimentary fabric of the rock. Understanding the properties of ripple marks is essential for interpreting past depositional environments, reconstructing ancient landscapes, and deciphering the geological history recorded in sedimentary rocks. Geologists use detailed observations of ripple marks and associated sedimentary structures to unravel the dynamic processes that shaped Earth's surface through time.